Good evening. In just 40 days, new criminal justice reforms will begin. Today, law enforcement leaders from across our area are asking Albany to change part of the new law. The Gates Police Chief called one part of it absurd. Christian Garzon talked to them today. Christian? John, critics of some of the criminal justice reform laws do in just a little bit here say over 200 people will be released from jails in the region by year's end. While those gathered at the conference today say things like bail reformed are well intentioned, it's not the right solution. Wayne County Sheriff Barry Vert says these new laws will be devastating. Vert says many of these nonviolent crimes that will no longer qualify for bail are still problematic and those accused should not be out on the streets. In Rochester, Police Chief Laron Singletary says resources are already stretched thin and trying to again catch accused people due in court could be an obstacle. I'm working with our counterparts across the criminal justice system to see what type of impact this is going to have on law enforcement. Certainly in RPD, we don't have a warrant squad. We have patrol officers and officers throughout the department that, along with their primary responsibility as answering calls for service, go out there and serve warrants. It gets very busy in the city, and, you know, with the resources that we have, that's going to be another responsibility that we're going to have to take into account. We'll have more at 5 o'clock from the ACLU office in Rochester that say not only are these reforms needed, but they are long overdue. John, back to you. All right, Christian, thank you for a complete list of the crimes that will no longer qualify for bail in New York State on January 1st. You can find that at our website at rochesterfirst.com.